Hello everyone, we already know about the composition of soil. So, let us understand what makes the soil fertile. It goes without saying that the capacity of holding water and nutrients is the most crucial criterion for a fertile soil. And soil organisms help in building up humus through decomposition of plant residue. And we can say humus is soil's nutrient reservoir. So the fertility of soil can be described in terms of soil's organic matter content and water holding capacity which is dependent on soil component and structure also rate of biological activity in the soil. Thus all these factors decide how supportive that soil is for the growth of plants. You know the major part of soil microbial biomass is fungi. For example, mycorrhizae fungi live in symbiotic relationship with about 90% of plants in their roots. And they get carbohydrates from the plants. In return, they provide water, minerals from the soil to the plant. As they can reach small pores in the soil where plants roots cannot access. Thus the fungus provides increased water and nutrient absorption capabilities while the host plant provides the fungus with carbohydrates formed from photosynthesis. As we already know microbes break down complex organic compounds into simple compounds and release carbon dioxide, ammonia, methane etc. So through this mineralization process organic compounds turn into simple compounds or minerals which plants can use again. This means the supply of nutrients to the soil stays uninterrupted. Hence microbes play an important role in making the soil fertile. You know the pH of the soil is highly relevant to know how readily nutrients will be available to the plants. Organic farmer approach soil fertility management by feeding soil with organic substances and then let it feed the plants in a balanced way. So decreasing pH too much is also a bad idea. That's all for now. Bye bye.